Well, first, first of all, I guess I, I certainly accept uh, the fact that change is going to take place. Um, I mean, we see it daily. I mean, your parents die, uh, your friends die, uh, people move away, um, people change their careers. Um, so, I mean, it's inevitable that things are going to change. They're not always happy changes. And professionally, um, I've seen a number of my, quote, landscapes, unquote, disappear um, because uh, they were replaced with something else, presumably a better use. Um, but I don't know. I mean, trees fall in the forest and new ones sprout. I mean, I've just accepted that because in the place in which I live, it's a change has always, in my urban life, a change has always occurred, and I've come to expect that. Um, I guess one of the reasons I'm so anxious that when I complete a job professionally that it has not only solved the problem, but it has a form that's going to mature, and hopefully fairly quickly, because again, this is a place where people move in and move out uh, frequently. Um, there's hardly any building in town that's, uh, that's over 50 years old of age that isn't threatened because uh, the economy just pushes change. So I think we have to be quick change artists, that's all, in this town. People don't know how to react to the landscape. We are so far removed, the bulk of us, from actually putting our hands in, in the ground or working with a plant or waiting long enough to see a plant mature that we just don't know what to do with them, so we beat the hell out of them. And as we saw um, the um, shrubs uh, at the governor's mansion having been mutilated out of ignorance, and that's all it is. And the ignorance is almost encouraged because there's always somebody a little more ignorant who can come along and charge less for their labor, who can do the work of beating the hell out of the plant. You know, it's, it's shameful. But we, we, we design these things that are supposed to last, and they're going to only last as long as they are maintained well.